believe it was like just something through the air or whatever that caused it. But there was actually another spiritual side that caused it that I didn't know until. Like, and it's funny how it's crazy how God it's amazing how God works. Like a night not too long ago, maybe almost a week now, I would say. This video just randomly popped up when I watch YouTube. I'm a YouTuber, so I watch YouTube, right? It was this prophet somewhere out of Africa. And he was talking about spiritual warfare. And he was talking about, and I'm going to see if I can put a little screenshot of clip or whatever. Not a clip of the video, but like a picture of it. It says something along the lines of praying while you sleep, something like that. This message, I encourage y'all to watch it. I'm going to leave a link below in the description. It's a long video. I'm let y'all know. Dang, don't get scared. I'm going to tell y'all why. It's like three hours. I got a life. I didn't sit there and watch the whole three hours. Here's the thing. I don't even know if the whole video is actually three hours. Because towards the end, like I'm telling y'all, because I was like, this is not going to sleep. A while after listening to it and when i got up or the next day i don't know what happened but towards the end of the video it sounded like maybe it had looped over so it may just be like an hour and a half and whoever posted it like looped it again or something i don't know it's like a <laughs> african thing some things happen like they're very differently with our people over there so I don't know for sure how long the thing is because I have yet to listen to the whole thing all the way through. What I've been doing with it is when I first even heard it that day, I listened to a portion of it and then I fell asleep, like I said. Um, but it was so good. I encourage y'all to listen to it. If you got to break it up. Some things that he was saying, one of the things that he was saying was about how spiritual attacks he was talking about how when you can be asleep, and I don't want to scare nobody, or you can be asleep when a demon can come, a spirit can come, uh, ain't, 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 not no angels, uh, but a demonic spirit, I'll say that, can come and try to mess with you in your sleep or try to sleep with you in your sleep. Don't have no children listed to this. So what's funny is, I remember around that time when I had got sick, that also happened to me. Now, I'm sure the Holy Spirit also told me to write down. He's been telling me to like write down all my dreams lately. I've been doing this like consistently um, more than, I mean, I used to do it, but like way, way, way more consistently over the last three years since things have been starting to happen and God's been showing me my dreams. Um, but he told me to write this one down. But like lately it's been like so going on. Like I said, this new job is just like makes me extra tired. So, um, I haven't been as consistent as I have been, but trying. So, this one, but like, something that I feel like I can remember, I was like, right, I ain't writing it down. Then later on, some things I can remember, some things I can't. So, I really need to be doing it. Y'all pray for me on that. So, I didn't write down the day of this dream that I, uh, I didn't write down the dream in, in as much as I can remember when I woke up, when I, when I had that dream. But I know that it was around that time. I don't know if it was, um, I just don't remember the exact day. So I don't know if it was right before that Monday or what, when I started feeling sick, but I had this dream. And I know that it was tied to it, right? So let me tell you this dream real quick. Okay, now let me tell you what he said real quick. He said that um, he was explaining how sometimes people could, He's like, y'all know how you can, people, you heard of people where they could have a dream. He was talking, he was giving examples. And he was like, there was a man who had a dream that um, somebody's, in the dream, it's uh, a spirit told him that, or a person told him, which we know was a demonic spirit, told him that he had HIV. And he, uh, I don't want to repeat that part. Um, I'm going to go ahead and see it. Um, HIV and his needle stuck him with it. And he woke up and had HIV. Now, there's some stuff that I know, like, over there, people will say all kinds of stuff they've heard, believed in, or whatever can happen. But there's other dreams where he was talking about how weird things can happen, and they wake up with, like, weird stuff on them. 
Uh, well, that was another man that I would say, uh, he said something happened to him in a dream. And he woke up with some stuff. So he, he was a little boy. That was another story. So I believe certain things can happen. But I also don't believe that God is not going to, he ain't going to allow nothing to you that you can't handle and not going to deal with. Not going to be able to deal with. He ain't going to, you know. So, but just as his examples. Point is, there's been times where demonic spirits we know of have visited people, done things with them, dreams, and then wake up where things start happening. So in this particular dream that I had, this is why I'm trying to bring this all together. And this is very graphic. I'm trying to get y'all to understand and paint a picture because it wasn't great for me to have this dream. So it was one of those kind of dreams. It's a spirit trying to come sleep with me. But since I guess I've been just like consciously day to day, like in my actual life, been fighting against I guess like fornication and stuff like that. Like I told God some couple years ago, I'm like, I ain't finna do this no more. I'm not finna fall into this no more. Help me Lord to stay pure for you. I don't want to be sleeping around with people. Okay. Bottom line. And I've been like so focused on that. Um, testimony for another day. But in this particular dream, and it's funny because this stuff don't happen all the time. But around this particular season, spiritual warfare, I'm telling y'all, it's been different. So I had this dream. This, this spirit was trying to sleep with me. And my spirit, like, got a lot of things to happen. And I'm, like, thankful because God showed me something.